So welcome to the channel of RD Automation Learning. So in this video, we are going to tell you about an important Java interview question along with the answer. So let's discuss about that. So this question is repeatedly asked in multiple companies. And the question is, what is the difference between hash map and hash table? Right. So this is asked. What is the difference between hash map and hash table? So you can take one minute of yours and you can put down the answers in the comment section of the video. And then we'll start with our explanation so that you get a clarity about the concept and the difference between the two. And at the same time, I would also like to update you about the product which has been created on the Java interview questions and answers. So this link is available on the top mid. We have consolidated 100 plus questions and answers which are asked in an interview. So you can avail this product today itself. Okay, so I'll be putting this link in the description as well as in the comment section of the video. Now let me explain to you about the difference between hash map and hash table. Okay, and then we will also see the automation testing example. So what is hash map? So hash map is not synchronized. Okay, so that's very important. It's not synchronized. Okay, it means multiple threads can access it without block. Okay, and it will allow you one null key and multiple null values. Okay, so it is faster in single threaded environments. Okay, now what is hash table? So hash table on the contrary, it is synchronized. And uh, it is, you can say it is thread safe. So at a time, one thread at a time can access it. Okay, and it does not allow null keys, null values. Okay, and it is slower than hash map. Okay, so next thing is where in automation testing you are using these concepts. So let's understand first, sorry, whether you are using Selenium as an automation tool or you are using Playwright as an automation tool. Okay, so let's imagine you are building a test automation framework and uh, you are using Selenium or you are using Playwright, any of the, these tools. So over there, you can use HashMap. So let's understand how you can use HashMap. I'll show you from the coding perspective. And these days in that interview, they are asking you to write the code as well. So you should be able to, you should be capable of writing the code. So you can write the code, like for example, you want to read the data from some file. Okay, so test data. Let's say this is your one of the class. And you will say public static void main. string of arguments and you have a hash map test data equal to I'll create an object equal to new of hash map this is your normal declaration I want to read the data from an external file so what kind of data you would like to read? So various data, for example, you want to read the URL from the configuration file, or you want to read the user name, or you want to read the password, right? So all those data we will be storing and we would be reading from that. So we can say test data dot of put, and we'll say, so put is a method, okay? And it will add, so we will add this things. password 
अबाउट पास द रेट वन टू थ्री देन टेस्ट डेटा डॉट पुट ऑफ यू आर एन https okay so you are storing the test data now you want to retrieve this data so how would you retrieve it so let's write the code for that that also in the test this thing in the hash map only in this particular script so what we will do now system dot out dot printer so in the short form i am writing sop login with user and you will get test data dot of get of user and will close it so this is how your hash map is working now this works well when you are running the test sequentially okay so this would run when you are running the test in a single threaded test execution okay so it works well if you are running the test sequentially one by one so first you will run login then you will run search then you will run add to cart then you will run log out those kind of things right so that's your hash map concept <laughs> now when you will use hash table so hash table you will use when you want to do multi threaded test execution okay so hash map so hash table you will use when you want to do multiple or i would say parallel test execution so how you would write over there so you would replace this things with the hash table so same thing with respect to hash table let's write it i would say hash table again string of string and uh, i'll say test data equal to new of i'll say hash table and uh, i'll say browser comma chrome i'll say version one bit two right and i'll say os okay and then i'll fetch that particular thing this right i can retrieve the data as well so this is used at the time of multi thread if i want to run the parallel execution using test ng parallel test runs or using selenium grid then this can be helpful right now here if you try to put null it will throw you null pointer exception so easy to understand how you can do is hash map if your framework is simple and runs one test at a time go for hash map if you are if you want to run the test in parallel and you want to avoid the conflicts in the shared data then you have to go for hash table so now i'll tell you a simple analogy of how to understand and how to remember this for the longer duration of time okay so we'll start with the hash map example so in a hash map let's take an example of uh, your office and in that you have an open bookshelf okay you have an open bookshelf there so all the employees can take the books because as an employee you will be having that uh, kind of uh, uh, advantage they will they will give you those kind of facility right you can take the books but now when you open that bookshelf so let's say if employee 1 takes book a okay then employee 2 will not be able to take the book A because it has already been taken by the employee 1. So that's a single threaded thing, right? Similarly, let's take an example of hash table now. So in a hash table, you can consider a locker kind of an example in your office. 
okay and over there employee one is having a separate locker and employee two is uh, having its own locker too it's a dedicated separate locker for both the employees employee one and employee two right and with the locker they will have their individual respective keys as well so only one person can use it at a time okay so if it is it is safe as well now even if you have the same locker even if the employee two has got the same locker one only okay but any one person so when employee one is opening that locker one then he'll close it then employee two will open and then he'll close it so like a locker with a key so only one person can use it at a time safe for multiple users but it is slower it is slower because multiple users are trying to access the same resource right so it will be slower so that's the difference between the hash map and the hash table so such kind of questions would be asked in the interview so i would request you to avail this particular document so it can help you for the interview preparation and you can see there are more than 100 questions and answers that has been covered in this particular digital product which will definitely help you for your interview preparation right so that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned for more updates